So one way of using the pan balance would be to work out um, number bonds within 10. So if we have a 10, so something is equivalent to 10, and we could put something like a 5 in, and the children would be thinking about what other shapes um, would go in there to balance with the 10. So the children would either select a 5 because they knew that, and it's quite important that pan balance is, is able to rock um, before it settles, the children could check if they wanted to themselves, or equally, if the child wasn't sure what the missing number would be, they might try a smaller number, realise that's not enough, so two is too small, they might then try a four, they would get this sense that that's nearly right, so then they would end up with the five being selected. Or the last thing that children might opt to do would be to put in single ones until they find the correct answer, in which case they would just keep dropping the ones in until the pan balance was equal.